Work is recognized. I thank the ranking member for his supportive comments. The gentleman from New York, Mr. Solomon, who's been a staunch advocate of democracy in Taiwan. Mr. Solomon. They stood as one of the strongest links in that chain of defense against the spread of that, that deadly communism. So yes, we have a moral obligation to defend them against that same deadly atheistic communism that now threatens their very freedoms, that democracy that is similar to our own. And we ought to defend them against that attack. The gentleman from California is recognized for two minutes. We are united in our opposition to any use of force by the mainland on Taiwan, and that the United States will respond militarily, if necessary, if force is used against the Republic of China on Taiwan. California is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. Our relationship with China is, is strained. Our friends in Tokyo and elsewhere in Asia are alarmed by China's provocative actions, but they also worry about our reaction. This, in short, is a time for restraint and negotiation. Pelosi. The woman from California is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On this vote, the yeas are 369, the nays are 14. China has been provocative, um, needlessly so. Uh, they've raised tensions. They crossed that red line. We, uh, we haven't, and we don't intend to. Yes, but do, they, do we perceive that they may see it the other way, that we're pro provocative in raising tensions?